Welcome Wildcats, Pete Perone, your superintendent of the Struther City Schools and a proud 1992 graduate of Struthers High School. When we talk about portrait of a graduate, we look at a couple things. Number one, our students are creative and innovative, and we do this by providing a rigorous curriculum. We want students to work collaboratively. In today's world, we're competing against a global society, not just local students. So our students will work collaboratively to be successful. Wildcats have three characteristics. We're tough, we're resilient, and we have grit. We will work hard until we're able to be successful. By graduating from Struthers High School, you have opportunities to be leaders. Be leaders in the classroom and outside the classroom. We expect you to be engaged in curricular and extracurricular activities to show those leadership skills. At Struthers City Schools, we want to provide you with many opportunities to be successful in life. We want you to have an impact on the global society. Throughout your career, we will provide you with many opportunities to explore the many career fields out there. You can be successful in any career field you choose. You do not need higher education to have a livable wage. Take time to explore all the career fields and course selections we have to offer so that you can make a positive impact on society. The following video provides you short snapshots of the portrait of a wildcat. Please watch and look at the career opportunities our successful students will venture on as they leave Struthers High School. Hi, I'm Brandon Bresnai. I'm a graduating senior for the class of 2019 and next year I'm going to Cleveland State University for film and media arts. Uh, I really had no idea what I wanted to do until my senior summer. I found out I liked film. Uh, there are so many different things you could do after high school. You just have to find out what you want to do in high school. It may not you may not know it at first, but as time goes on, you may find out what you love and what you want to do after high school. So uh, just keep trying to find yourself, and you never know what will happen. Hi guys, I'm Trinity McDowell, and I'm graduating 2019. Um, I'm going to Cincinnati Christian uh, to study in psychology, and I'm going to be playing basketball. Um, one thing that I would tell you is to make sure that you keep up with your grades and that you stay on top of the things and the activities that you have in school because that can set you in route and what schools you want to go to. Um, but overall, keep up the good work. Hi, I'm Kylie Thomas. I'll be graduating in 2019 and I'll be attending Point Park University for journalism. And so I knew that I wanted to get as good of grades as I could and do whatever I could in high school to have a good college application. And I knew that it would give me the best opportunities to go into internships and get started in my field right out of college. What's up guys? I'm JD Hall. Most of you guys have seen me on Friday nights. Um, I was fortunate enough to play quarterback for our high school team and for our city. Um, I am going to college to play football at Westminster. If I had to tell you guys anything to do to help you get to college, it would be um, challenge yourself. Um, take as much help as you can get, but really challenge yourself and make sure there's not a boring point to where you're always engaged. Hello there Wildcats, uh, my name is Hunter Stolano. I am actually hitting the road here at the end of the school year. I am going to Cleveland State University for early childhood education, so I will actually be ending my education to give back in education, you know. Education, I, I do believe, is the greatest gift you can give somebody. It just, as long as you apply yourself to what you're getting forward to, and you know, do your homework, do your classes, you know, just enjoy it. These will be the best four years of your life, so just make sure, you know, you get out there, join those clubs, you know. Do everything you can and enjoy these last four years. I hope you can at least have half the fun that I had at Struthers High School. Hi guys, I'm Elizabeth Dragas. I'm a 2019 senior and I am going to be starting my journey as an artist. I got accepted into Columbus College of Art and Design for their illustration and art history. To me, the biggest message I could give you is to not give up on what makes you happy. I went into high school knowing I loved art and was discouraged a little bit to try and go into something that people called as a real field of a career. And I have to tell you that no matter what, if it makes you happy, it's going to be your career.
Hi, I'm Tyler Johnson. I'm graduating in the class of 2019. I'm enlisted in the United States Navy. My job in the Navy is Navy Special, Special Warfare Department. A lot of people think differently about the military, that you just have to sell bronze, not brains, but to be, get into this, you have to have top 20% of the ASVAB, which the ASVAB is not a hard, easy test. It's pretty difficult. Um, everything comes down to how bad you want it. Um, if you want to do something, even if when you were younger it kind of sounded stupid, go for it now. Um, nothing that you can ever do is stupid. Follow it with your heart, and if uh, if you truly want it, you'll succeed. Hi, my name is Christopher Heinrich. I am part of the graduating class of 2019 Struthers High School, and I'll be enlisting into the Air Force right after high school. Uh, at first, I was genuinely considering college, but once I realized all the opportunities the Air Force had to offer me, I almost couldn't turn it down. The Air Force and the military in general really does have a job for everyone. So. So if you're unsure about maybe what you want to do after high school and like, you know, you still haven't picked out a major at some point or whatever, or whatever you think you're going to do, the military is a great option because it gives you an opportunity to both sort your life out, build up a work ethic, you know. Hi, my name is Jason Farrick and I am a graduate in Shrothers High School of 2019. Um, I'm going into uh, the electrical apprenticeship for Youngstown. I chose this path because I feel that for me college wasn't right. I wasn't the best at class and all that. And I feel like to me being able to still see my family and still be able to make a good amount of money, especially while going to school, I think that's one of the best things that you could do. Hi, my name is James Little and right now I'm in the class of 2019. I'm currently working on to be plumber so right now I'm taking an apprenticeship and my advice if you don't know what you're doing yet just get good grades in, call, in high school so like in case you don't know what you're doing so you get, like, you get good grades you go to college you don't like college you don't have to do college it's not for everybody I know college wasn't for me just think about it you have time think about it now so as time progresses you can decide if you want to change it or not me it took a while but I finally know what I'm gonna do and at least I got it done before high school was over. And that's the most important part. Hey guys, my name is Caitlin Genhart. I am currently a Struthers senior. I will be graduating in the class of 2019. Um, so for my career choice, I chose an STNA with Windsor House Incorporated. Um, even though college isn't the right path for everybody, you could always find a way to fulfill your dreams. Um, even though you might not choose to go to college, uh, there's always some way or somehow you could choose to do your career path um, and then I plan on furthering my education to show for a surgical technologist and for my advice for you guys is that there's always some way to fulfill your dreams and make everything happen that you want to. Hello my name is Colin Mateo I am in eighth grade I am the graduating class of 2023 and as we all 8th graders uh, try to move in life, we learn about the jobs and things that we want to do when we grow up, like our interests and goals. And as we all move forward, I myself am going to computer engineering to help better fit myself and my future and goals. And as we all work hard to accomplish our goals and um, interest in the future, we must all remember that there are no limits to what we can accomplish unless those limits you put on yourself.